Hey everybody, Shy here back with another video. In this video, I am going to show you all how to defeat the Red Worm boss in Modern Warfare Zombies. If this does help you out, be sure to subscribe and even like the video, share it, whatever you want to do. I really don't care. And let's get right into the video. Alrighty, everybody, this guide will be split into three parts. The first part is going to be how to spawn the boss. The second part is going to be what you need to fight him, aka like prep everything. And then the third part is going to be all about the fight and what goes on all of them will be time stamped in the description down below and let's just get on going with part one of the um boss all right here's how to spawn the boss at the beginning of the match there is gonna when you spawn in you're gonna look for these locations on the map the closest one to you works out all right in that building there is going to be a map of urchistan with four other pictures those are the locations that you need to go to and all the locations on the maps, one is normally in tier 3, one is normally in tier 2, and two are normally in tier 1. I don't know, if, I can't fact check that, but the tier 3 one I can fact check. Um, once you have all those locations, I use this website that I linked in the description that tells me like where they are all at by the pictures. It just saves me a lot of time, and then not having to like look at that small map or even honor the um, game map. So once you got all those, you take a picture of everything. Now you gotta go find the USB drives. Once you reach the closest location of said location that you decided to go to to save time, you are going to look for a little UAV tower-like thing. You need to interact with that. And once you're done typing on the little computer, it is an animation. Note, zombies can't hit you while you're doing it. So I would be like throw decoys or whatever. And a USB drive will pop out. Congratulations, you now have one USB drive of four. Now, after you have gone and collected the other three, you are going to look at your map and note where the ether storm is on the map. The boss fight is going to take place in one of four locations. It can be any of these, but it is determined by where the ether storm is. And where the ether storm is, the closest location on the thing I just showed on the screen is where the fight's going to take place, and you know it's going to be there by the two ammo caches that are near each other. Now that you know the location on the map, with whatever time you left, I would go into preparing. I'm about to get on that in a second. But once you're ready to spawn the boss, you are going to go to that location, and it has to be at the end of the game once the ether storm starts expanding. Once it covers that area, you have to insert the USBs into these little devices, right? These refractors, I think they're called. And basically, that's going to spawn the boss after like 30 seconds once they're all activated. And no, this is a fight because of the ether storm. Alright, now we are on to preparing for said boss fight. So, when you're in your menu, I would suggest bringing a flawless crystal. If you do not have one, refined works, raw works, whatever you can get. As much perks as you can bring, just general prep stuff, alright? Just to make the... You definitely need tier pack, tier 3 pack to do this. I There's no argument. Um, The two guns I would recommend using are the either the Swarms, the WSP Swarms, uh, Kimboed, or what I use, the XRK Stalker. That does insane damage if both of y'all are running it. Like, after you find all the USBs, I would go into getting as much cash as possible to tier 3 pack and get every perk. Now, to do that, I would do tier 3 bounties, escorts, whatever you can do to get up there. Because you are going to need a lot of essence to prepare for the fight. Because not only are you going to need a gas mask to survive in the interstore, preferably a durable one, but a regular one works. You are going to need a lot of sentries and self reses preferably. I would go about 8 sentries in total, maybe 4 a person, 5 a person, if you have multiple people. As much sentries as you can bring and at least 3 self reses makes the fight a whole lot easier and whatever perks you can get that work the best. I didn't have every perk, I know. My bad. You can also put out in the chat you are going to do the boss and someone may help. I did that. And overall preparing until the fight is essential for even killing the worm. 
So you gotta make sure you are 100% prepared for this fight because it's nothing to joke around in my opinion. I think it is the hardest of the worms. I personally haven't fought the Act 3 yet, so don't at me on that. Alright, now it is fight time. So after you put in all those USBs, you are on prayer is sentry time. Put all those sentries down around this circle in the area. It'll distract the worm. I would also make sure to bring Casimirs. They're not needed. I didn't have none. I don't think Delta did. I'm not sure. But, and step back. Step back, because he is going to pop up in, like, the middle. What I, my strategy is, because the Aether Storm, your gas max is going to take damage, you are going to stand at one of the ammo caches, at least near it. You don't have to be right up on it. I was right up on it, but, like, I'm me. And... Once your gas mask is about to break, hit it, and then rotate to the other ammo cache until yours is about to break again, and then you rinse repeat, and make sure to lay fire on that boss, like, it's needed. Um, be sure to shoot the purple orbs that fly out of him, those do a lot of damage. I had golden armor plates and an ether blade, those aren't needed, but are very, very helpful. That's why I wanted to keep my gas mask up, so I had the effect of the golden armor plates. But, overall, you should be safe with the sentries. Note, during the fight, Mega Abominations will spawn every now and then. Those aren't too big of a deal if you know how to take them out. It's pretty simple, you just gotta shoot their heads. It's like a Margwa from Black Ops 3. Make sure they avoid the worm's laser attacks and his grab. If he grabs you in his mouth, I don't necessarily know how to get out of it. I just spam jump until he let me go and you can parachute out. It's no big deal. Once you get the worm all the way defeated after everything, a reward whiff will spawn and you can get one of three schematics. You can either get a legendary ether tool schematic, a flawless crystal schematic, or the scorcher schematic. And don't worry about all the other zombies. You should be safe to get it. And don't worry about the exfil because there is an exfil right there. Okay, that is the end of the guide. I mean, I can't really help other than that. I just gave you a general breakdown of my guide. It may not work for you. I'm sorry if it doesn't. I tried to help. But if you did enjoy it, I'd be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. It is me, Shy, and I'm out. Peace.